Congresswoman, the president has sent federal agents to Portland, Oregon, and he says to fight crime and restore order. The mayor of Portland, the governor of the state of Oregon, have said it's only making the situation worse. They don't need and they don't want the federal help. Many have called the move unconstitutional. Where do you stand on this? You know, this is a time right now in our communities where we're trying to rebuild trust, right, for, with our law enforcement agents and with our, our communities. And, uh, and this undermines all of that. Uh, this is such an excessive uh, use of, of force. And it's one that is not welcome in our cities. But, you know, it's not surprising. Our, our president has done this over and over, uh, where he's created chaos uh, so that he can uh, brand himself as a law and order uh, president. And, uh, but I don't think uh, the American people are fooled by this. Uh, I don't think that uh, they want to have excessive uh, force or federal agents pouring into their cities and uh, and creating this chaos and and getting in the way of you know our First Amendment rights to to protest and so I am 100% against this. I stand with all those mayors who condemned this action by the president. Voting is going to look very different this election cycle because of COVID-19. Fewer voters will actually physically cast their ballots at polling stations on election day. Voting by mail will certainly play a major role. Yeah. So as a candidate, does, does that concern you at all? No, I think it's absolutely 100% the right thing for us to do. Look, we don't want anyone making tough decisions about uh, their health uh, and whether to cast their vote, which is the singular biggest power each individual in our country has. And so, um, you know, these mail-in ballots are so important, especially as we, uh, you know, head into an uncertain fall. Uh, I am, uh, I am, you know, in the HEROES Act, one of the things that we did was that we uh, sent funding to our states uh, so that they can you know, set up these logistics. We uh, attributed $25 billion so that we could save our post office so that things will run uh, smoothly. So, you know, I think it's very important, especially in these times, that uh, people exercise their right to vote. And uh, it's, the, it's the one thing that we can do. It's the way we use our voice, uh, you know, every, uh, every election season. Well, perhaps it doesn't come as a shock, but this too has been a political football. The president has fought against vote by mail efforts. And and, and, and if Mr. Trump should lose the election, there are concerns that he will challenge the results. So does that worry you, perhaps? You know, there's no question that he's made statements uh, and he's sort of laid that groundwork about contesting uh, the results of the election. You know, what we have to do in November is make sure that everybody goes and votes. Uh, and, you know, we've we've seen mail-in voting work in several states uh, across this country. And, you know, like I said, you know, this president is uh, very good at creating chaos and seeding doubt, uh, but it's all for his own personal political motive. And I don't think the American people are buying it. Congresswoman Johan, first of all, your family, is your family well? Yeah, everyone's well. Thank wonderful, you for wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming in this morning and thank you for joining us on the record.